Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the show that's on in the afternoon. Glad to hear, have you here with us. We've got a great show ahead, baby. Oh, Davey. this is going to be a good one. I'm I, so excited. I really am looking forward to this. We talk about St. Augustine Youth Services, and we talk with St. Augustine Youth Services a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, they do. They offer just so many important services here in St. John's County for our young people, and we don't often talk to folks who have actually gone through the program and and shared their real life experiences on ever. how it works. I don't think we've I don't ever, think we have. Yeah, ever yeah. interviewed. This is awesome. So we're excited to talk to Tyrell today. Yeah. Um he has been working uh, through youth services for a while. We also have uh Jen in studio here with us from St. Augustine Youth Services and uh, they're going to tell us a lot more about this from really a, a first hand perspective and I'm excited to hear Tyrell's story and um Talk more about this, man. Yeah. Because this, this is so important. What you know, they our do community down. supports SAYS in so many different ways, but here's a really a great example of seeing like when you support SAYS, this is the lives that you're affecting. And yeah. I think this is going to be very important. It's really awesome. Yeah. Really excited about it. Um, we have also got your horoscopes, your funnies, all that good stuff today. Yeah, We're going to knock sure. it all <laughs> We're yeah. going to knock it all out. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Got um, some winners of Shayla Moore. We do. Know. I was just going to, yeah. I was. Sorry, Jim. Shayla Moore. <laughs> We've got a winner. Yeah, we do. We did a contest yesterday. Yes. Yeah, so, so I'm excited to announce that our winner is Shelby Scott. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Tell her what she won, Davey. She won. Uh, so, so Friday is a, di a dinner for two. South of France wine dinner, 7 p.m. Shayla Moore, two tickets. This is by Breakthrough Beverage, and Shayla Moore is going to be very, very special, very exclusive dinner. So congratulations, Shelby. Totally deserved. Uh, breakthrough beverage, South of France wine dinner, okay. and we have breaking news. They uh, gave us two more tickets to oh, give sweet. away. I know this is like the week of giveaways, right? Uh, so, to this is a very special because even Irving Cass knows this uh, this wine. Rombauer Vineyard Cellar. This is a dinner for two again, seven o'clock p.m. This is happening uh, uh, at Saturday. Uh, 5 p.m. this time. So yeah, share the show. That's all you got to do. I'll put your name in, in our little entry bag and we will draw a name. The last one for uh, for this contest it will be tomorrow on the awesome. show. We'll announce. Very good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Rombauer. And thank you to yeah. Shayla Moore. Big one. Yeah, yeah so very exciting. exciting. Also, thank you to our sponsors, Bozard Ford Lincoln. Uh, since 1949, Bozard Ford Lincoln been more than just a dealership. They are a family-owned beacon of trust right here in St. Augustine. They were founded on the principles of honesty, integrity, and community service. The Bozard family tradition continues to thrive through generations. They've got that state-of-the-art service facility, 91 climate-controlled bays out there, a quick lane for no appointment needed maintenance, plus you can enjoy the comforts of their customer lounge and the unique flavors of Ford's Garage oh, Restaurant. All right. They are the proud recipients of the prestigious Triple Crown Award and named Florida's Dealer of the Year by Dealer Raider. Their team, dedicated to providing an enjoyable and efficient experience. Uh, the Bozard Ford Lincoln family offers the best in pricing, selection, and service. They're just off 95 and State Road 16. Your satisfaction is their mission, and they are driven to inspire. Also, our friends at the Bailey Group. Getting enrolled in a health insurance or Medicare plan does not have to be complicated. In fact, it can be quite the opposite. At the Bailey Group, you're going to work with a local insurance advisor who's going to help you find just the right insurance coverage for your specific needs and your budget. Their goal is to make getting covered simple, no added costs, no extra fees. The Bailey Group handles individual health and Medicare, corporate benefits, and financial needs for their clients. Give them a call today. Let them do that for you. 904-461-1800. And then, of course, our friends at Elace Med Spa. If you're looking for a relaxing and rejuvenating experience, look no further than Elace Med Spa. They specialize in providing their clients with a wide range of luxurious spa treatments and advanced medical aesthetic procedures. Whether you are looking to unwind with a hydrofacial, enhance your natural beauty with things like Botox, dermal fillers, laser treatments, body contouring, they do it all. Mm -hmm. And uh, they do it the best. They really do. Elace is the place that will save your face. Thank goodness. <laughs> Go to Elace.com, see what they can offer you today. And if you're a new customer, oh yeah, if you've never had a service through Elace before, uh, just say the name Davey when you walk in. That's it. They're going to give you 100 bucks off your service. $100, y'all. Come yeah, on. Man. Yes. Thank you for that, Davey, and thank you to Elace Med Spa. I'm excited the Elace team is going to come in tomorrow. We're going to talk to them in studio. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Um, that's always exciting. Yeah. Right? They're great, great people, piece. man. Yeah. All right. Tyrell, Jen, how are y'all doing this afternoon? Great. Doing really good. Awesome. I'm good. Awesome. How are you? Cool. Awesome. Doing well. Thank Doing you. Doing well. <laughs> so, Tyrell, I'm excited to talk to you, man. 
um, yep. because you have firsthand experience going through Say's, working with Say's. Yep. Talk to me about your experience. When did you first come to Say's, and how did that come about? Um, I first came to Say's about a year ago. Okay. And that was like about seven months before my adoption ended. Really? After 10 years of being in the system, I was adopted. Wow. And that only lasted about a year because I felt like they weren't fit to be parents. Like, it was a very wow. toxic environment. Oh, wow. Really? Um, they are very abusive. Wow. Like, one of the issues was they didn't want me to have any contact with my family that I've been in contact with before I met them. Wow. And wow. Then the lady that actually adopted me, she was my teacher in middle school. Uh-huh. And she, um, her husband was mostly the one that did a lot of the abuse. Very aggressive, really? manipulative, um, narcissistic. Um, he was ex, he was ex Navy. So he had a lot of issues going on mentally, uh -huh. like PTSD. So I don't feel like they're, I don't feel like they're a fit to be parents. Wow. So I feel like if you're not, if you don't think you're fit to be a parent, so you don't think you're mentally stable or financially stable, just, just don't have kids or don't, a, don't adopt, do it later yeah. when you feel like you can support the kid and take care of the kid. Well, how did you know to have enough to speak up about this? Was that a hard thing to find someone to tell? Mm. Yeah, it was hard at first. Like I was very depressed when I was um with them. Uh, we had family therapy. We tried to make it work. It lasted about a year. I mean, they showed me a lot of things that I haven't seen in the system when I was in the system for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Like we went on a cruise. I felt supported by their family. I was put in private school. Mm. It was great, but it was just a lot of abuse going on. Right, right, right. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, and then smoke I also, and mirrors, and then there's other things going on. So that me. had to be a mental roller coaster it was. for you, wasn't it? Just yeah. after 10 years, you finally get adopted. I mean, that has to be your dream in that system, right, is getting yeah. adopted. And then... To be adopted into a family that just was not a good fit for you. I mean, yeah. what was that like for you mentally? It was, I like went into like really bad depression after that. Really? Like I had like a really bad depression. Really? I just felt like I wasn't wanted. I wasn't worthy to have in the family. Oh, so, man. So yeah, after that, after about the year, I was put into, uh, back into foster care. Really? And then like six months down the road, I think I was also put in a juvenile detention center because. It, that situation affected me so much. I went down the wrong, the wrong road. Started yeah. getting into fights, getting into trouble. Yeah. Had constantly moving placements in foster care, and then once I got out of JDC, that's when uh, Says decided to take me in. And wow. what was that like? What was the first day like for you at Says? Was that like a like a healing moment for you? Yeah, it really was. I met some great people. I had a great therapist. First of all, it was really nice. Like it's one of the nicest. It's the nicest group I've ever seen in the system. And I've been to like seventeen different placements in the foster care system. Wow. I, so there's a lot of support, a lot of people that were in my corner. It was, I had stability, support, everything I needed to get back on the right track. And as a guy who hadn't necessarily had that for a lot of your life, I mean, that yeah. must have been, that must have just been an amazing feeling. Right? Yeah, it was. And I also had male figures there to look up to. Right, yeah. right. Because that's what every young man really needs yeah. is strong male figures at some point. Yeah, right? definitely. Um. So what was, what is day to day like? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, your first day was probably a huge learning experience, but for you, what is day to day like in, in a program like that? Program like that? Yeah. When well, a program like that, I just feel at home. I feel like I can relax. I can talk to people. There's other kids there. Yeah. It's more like a home environment than like a group home because mm. they have how they call them house parents and they have their own room inside the house. They stay there, stay there for three days and they switch shifts. So it feels like more like I'm at home than I'm than being in the group home. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. Yeah. And, and that's got to be, that had to be so important, big especially of, at that time in your life. Yeah, big right? part of it. Yeah. I mean, Jen, you must hear stories like this time and time again, right? I mean, th this is something that's not unusual for you, correct? Correct. That is correct. Um, Tyrell's been a pleasure to work with. Um, we have navigated through him graduating high school, awesome. um, preparing for college. Uh, we've done college tours. So now he's all enrolled at FSCJ, mm -hmm. um, navigated through the FAFSA. He's done his driving lessons. So it's just trying to give him all of those tools. Yeah. Is it hard for them to like mesh and mold into the SAIS culture coming from such a hostile environment? Like, is it, what do you guys do to, to make sure that Tyrell's transition was smooth? Um, we have a lot of staff and a lot of support, and especially with like the house parent model, mm -hmm. right? So they have... They have that figure there that's a constant in their life. So that's what we try to give them is those supportive adults and also support, supportive mentors. Awesome. Very, very important. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
And and you guys have uh, you're at an interesting time in this journey, right, Tyrell? Because yeah. you're about to turn eighteen. Yeah, I'm about to age out of the system. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, what does that what does that mean for you? That we do have programs that says is working on. I think we're going to make a little bit of announcement yep. uh, yeah. at the end of this. But um, what happens after that? What happens at eighteen? Well, at eighteen, I actually there's this dude that used to be a supervisor at says okay. on the weekends. His name is RJ. He, after he, he ended up leaving and going to open his own company to help kids like me. Yeah. But um, he became my mentor after that. So I'm at, he's, like, inviting me over to um, have dinner before. I spent a lot of time around his family. I went over for Thanksgiving last year. And I actually am moving in with him to start college. That's okay. incredible. That's awesome. Um, I'm going for nursing. Yeah, also, awesome. we need nurses. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah man. That's cool. Did did any of this, uh, any of your experience play into you wanting to go into nursing, helping people? Definitely. Yeah. I feel like we need people that actually care about other people and want to help make yeah. the world a better, better place. Dude, I got to yeah. tell you, it is so amazing to see somebody, because I think uh, as youngsters, so many of us, man, we we have choices in front of us and we can go down we can take the path to go down the wrong road and and that leads to a very very tough life yeah um but we also always have the option of doing something better with our lives and it yeah. seems like you really took to that and you really made the decision i'm going to make something better with my yeah. life i'm going to be successful i'm going to do good and i'm going to do good by people and i think that's really amazing i mean i commend you for really going all in on this program and and dude I'm, I'm i'm so happy for you that you've yeah. seen this type of success man it's really yeah, really speaking cool speaking the truth there's so yeah. many people that hold that or harness those negative situations in life yeah. you took it upon yourself to say hey i need to get up i need to get out and i need to do something about yeah. it and you took a proactive approach and i think that that's an incredible story yeah, of perseverance for you how has uh how is that going to affect your future do you think when you're going to move into college it's going to be a whole different kind of vibe whole different energy how are you mentally ready for this? Well, I feel like if I ever get back to a place that I was at before, I can just lean on those support systems I have to keep to keep me going, to let me know it's okay to mess up, but as long as you stay on that path. Yeah. You may stray a little bit, but as long as you come back and do what you need to do to have the type of success you want. What kind of mental game things do you say to yourself when you're going down like the wrong path? What what are um, some things you say to yourself? I say You've been in the system for so long. You've come this far. You've been through this. You've been through a failed adoption. So many abuse. So many things you've been through. There's a lot of abuse that you've overcome. You've overcame depression. So you got this. Just keep going. Yeah, I love yeah. that. I love that, dude. That is hard, and it's hard. Those are all hard things to overcome. But yeah. you've got to always know that you are a true warrior for yeah. overcoming those things. I mean, and that's got to give you a sort of source of strength, right? Yeah, it definitely does. That's huge. That's huge. Um. So let's talk a little bit more about this, Jen, because uh, we did mention there are, you guys are working on at St. Augustine Youth Services, um, sort of these aftercare programs where once individuals do age out of the regular says programs, you guys are working on something more, correct? We are. We're working on an independent living village. Right. Um, where when kids transition, when they turn 18, um, they could transition right into that independent living village and then continue to have the supports and have keep gaining the life skills and the tools that they need to mm -hmm. adult because we all know that's hard. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Yeah. Not yeah. just for anybody, it's hard adulting. So giving those those resources and tools that they can be successful in whatever they want to do. So I know we're going to jump into this story a little bit later, um, but the the question is, is like, what does it look like from the Say's Homes? to this new independent village? Like, do they get like a little bit more freedom? Is there, what's what's the difference? Oh, sure. There? I mean, they're gonna be 18. Right. So it's almost would kind of be structured like dorm living. Like gotcha. you have like an RA and so they're still, they're responsible for themselves, but they have those supports there that mm -hmm. if they need help navigating through school or making doctor's appointments or the things that parents do for their kids when they turn 18, right? So they would have all of that there. That's awesome. That's really important to have. Yeah. And I also feel like it's great because the kids that says that are already used to says when they have to go to a whole new environment. Mm, right. Because a lot of times through the system, you you move around a lot. You feel like you you, you have nowhere to be. It's like you're like yeah. you don't belong anywhere. Right. So yeah. it's nice to have to be able to transition from the normal says group homes over to the IO. Yeah. When they ha when they get where it you built. know some people, you're where you still know people. Comfortable. Yeah. You're comfortable in your own area. Talk about yeah. the difference it makes to be around kids your age 
that are in the says program uh, versus just being, uh, it seems like when you're young, you can fall in, uh, in with a lot of people who are just bad influences. Yeah. And if you're hanging around five people who are bad influences, you're going to be the sixth bad influence. Most right. Likely, yeah. So talk about what it's like to just be around more people your age that have bought into this program and see the value in it. Well, that's when be you're important. around people that's your age, that's been through what you, what you've been through, you can right. relate to them. Right. And when they see you doing better, get doing the things you need to do to be successful, they, they kind of follow your lead. Yeah. They're like, they're like, Oh, this kid has been through what I've been through. through. He's been in the system and he's doing all these, uh, these other amazing things. So I can do it too. Mm, yeah. That's what it's like to be around other kids like me. Yeah. It says. That's so great. Tyra, yeah. What does freedom mean to you? Like when you think about, you know, if you weren't in any of these systems or any of the therapies or anything, when, when it comes down to Tyrell's core, what is, what is, what does freedom mean to you? Mm. To be able to live your life comfortably and to be able to have a purpose. Like if that's to like help people to work in the military, be a nurse, work with other kids like you mm -hmm. that's been in the system. I feel like freedom is to be able to do what you love and not be judged, judged for it. Excellent. That's awesome. Excellent. Um, I gotta say, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this independent living, um, yeah. situation. This, this sounds great. We're going to have more news on this in the coming months, I think. Absolutely. And we're going to be talking to some more folks about this, but Ty uh, Tyrell, I gotta say, I'm so proud of you, man. This Appreciate is, that. Uh, it, it sounds like you've come such a long way. Yeah. Sounds like you've got dreams and goals and a purpose now. And, and that is one of the most powerful things that an adult can have, uh, yeah. in life. So I'm proud of you, man. I'm very excited to see what you got coming up next. I know you're going to do great things and, and yeah. congratulations on just all the success Thank you. that you've had and that you incredible journey have, of man. strength. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Mad respect for you, buddy. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Jen, tell us how people can get in touch with St. Augustine youth services. If they have questions, um, and uh, what that process looks like. Um, so we do have a Facebook page, so they okay. could go ahead and follow us on Facebook. Right. Um, we have a lot of our success stories on there and new happenings and what's coming up. Um, we run a lot of fundraisers like our Santa Run and yeah. the Wildwood Fishing Tournament, stuff cool. like that. So there's all different ways to get involved and contact us. So, yeah, just go on Facebook. Is there any kind of need that you guys need um, out there? Like, obviously, money is always <laughs> always the fun, the fun right, one. But is there right. any kind of, like, any supplies or, or presents for the boys or anything? I know Christmas time, there's always, like, a big drive, right? That the sure. community rallies around. We have, Are there times of year to look for specifically? Um, And we get a lot of school supplies and stuff during Good, the school okay. time, um, stuff like that. Christmas is another big one. Mm -hmm. We try to make Christmas really special for the boys. Um, I mean, we have needs all the time for mentors. Gotcha. I mean, mentors are great for somebody that can come take the boys out for lunch and yeah. just have a little more normalcy in their life. So things like that. I love that. Cool. Very cool. Well, thank you all both so much for coming in. We really, really appreciate this conversation. And I, I think conversations like this are going to help so many more people Definitely. in the future. Yes. This, this is a powerful conversation. Oh, thank, thank you all you. so much. Thank you, guys. Perfect. Right. Yeah, man. Wow. Great conversation. It's, it's yeah. very inspiring to hear stories like that. Yeah. Yeah. It really, really is. Lauren just sent over the statistic. I want to read this. Only about 46% of youth in foster care graduate high school. Really? Versus over 80% of the national average. Wow. So listening to Tyrell's journey, that is completely inspiring to yeah, hear, man. you know, what you do in the darkness qualifies for how you act in the light. And I just think that's amazing. That's yeah. a great story. Yeah. Very cool. Um, Hard to transition out of that into an ad read, but we're going to do that. Right, it's Old Town Trolley. Lift <laughs> Old us Town up, Trolley. Right? That's right. <laughs> hey, um, Old Town Trolley, you know, a significant part of their philosophy is giving back to the communities in which they operate as well. Old Town Trolley, proud to offer their sincere appreciation and support to our St. John's County schools, organizations like Patriot Service Dogs, and many, many more that we don't ever see or hear about. Um, they are very giving folks and we are very, very lucky to have them in our community, not just to shuttle us around downtown and True. teach us about our hometowns, right. uh, but to help really contribute to our community and valuable causes in our community. They also offer uncountable transportation donations to many local fundraisers and events such as light up the night, the 4th of July fireworks, the beach blast off the Holly Jolly shopping trolley, and so many more. Uh, they are the green trains in town. You've seen them. You love them. We love them. Hop on one soon. And one of the most legacy charitable foundations we have in town is Steve Chapman's All-American Air Charitable Foundation. They've been serving St. Augustine and St. John's County with all different sorts of nonprofits, but they also 
have their business, which they take great pride in providing quality service and installations, in turn gaining a customer for life. All American Air can match any price, but no one can match their quality and service. Our friends at Steve Chapman's All American Air will take exceptional care of your home unit. You've got to ask yourself, when was the last time somebody came over and checked it out? Make sure everything's running nice and smooth. Give them a call. Get on one of those maintenance plans. 904-461-0070. And of course, our great friends at Bin 39 Wine Bar as well. If you haven't found your new favorite wine yet, you haven't been to Bin 39 yet. What are you doing? You're, you're wasting your time Absolutely. going to these wine shops and yes. trying to pick some Something yourself off the shelf the you can never really down. tell what yeah. you're getting yeah. <laughs> definitely put the box put down the box down yeah uh bin 39 has been with us since 2016 a great place to unwind right there in the lobby of the saint george Inn. they've also got that beautiful courtyard they've got the misting fans out there for so when it's a hot cool. day and yeah. they're not going to leave you soaked and all ugh. it's just great they bring the temperature down like 10 degrees out there which is <laughs> that's significant <laughs> that is significant right now anywhere in florida right you can uh enjoy a relaxing glass of wine take a bottle home with you uh they're just great folks down there they are the wine experts in town hands down uh they are bin 39 at four saint george street all right it is time for horoscopes Ooh. we've got libra and aquarius on deck libra decisions decisions simple right uh, not for you libra <laughs> you'll spend the week organize uh, or uh, <laughs> Agonizing. There oh. we go. <laughs> over how to read words. Yeah. Uh, you'll spend the week agonizing over trivial choices, paralyzed by the fear of making the wrong one. Ooh. Your so-called diplomacy will make you come off as insincere. Oh. And guess what? People notice. Relationships will take a hit because your constant people-pleasing drives everyone up a wall. <laughs> Enjoy the solitude. You'll be there for a while. Oh. Uh, Aquarius, Aquarius, you unique soul. Your eccentricities will not be appreciated again this week. Mm. People will regard your innovative ideas as plainly outlandish. Your detachment will isolate you further, even though you claim to enjoy solitude. If you're planning to save the world, you might want to start with saving yourself from ridiculous expectations. But hey, you're special. Remember? <laughs> Ouch. Yikes. That hurt me. Well, I'm going to take this uh, up a notch here. Please. Hey, big announcement. I know our friends at Shayla Moore. They got a lot going on this week. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Love her. But Doug Karn is back in town. This is a very famous musician. Uh, we're very excited. One night only. Um, he will be featured with uh, Elena Montague, vocalist. Lawrence Buckner is playing bass. And John Lumpkin on drums. For reservations or more info, go to info at bitesbubblesandjazz.com. But yeah, check them out Saturday, July 27th, 7 to 10 p.m. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see Doug uh, perform. So it's really, really great. It's a jazz legend. Very awesome. Uh, so check that Doug's out. Doug's great. Yeah. Doug is an amazing oh, talent. Oh, so you've man. seen him. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go and check this out. It's yeah. Awesome. Ooh, we've got a lot going on at Solomon Calhoun Community Center. Oh, yeah. Uh, first thing, Family Bingo Night is happening July 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. Gather your family and friends for the second annual Family Bingo Night at Solomon Calhoun Community Center. You will play not only for fun, but also for the chance to win some awesome prizes. This is a great way to spend time with your family and friends doing something fun and free. Uh, food and drinks will be provided as well. The event is open to residents of all ages, uh, but youth 16 and under must be accompanied by an adult. Uh, the event contact is 904-209-0381 for more information. Bingo nights are a lot of fun, man. Yeah, they really are. I get very competitive on those. Oof. It's all a game of chance. How can you get competitive? Uh, I, I can get competitive in anything. Spin the wheel, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> you better pull out a B12 out of there. Hey, don't blink. The school year is just around the corner. We know this already. Come join West Augustine CRA Steering Committee for their annual back-to-school giveaway and pool party. They're always uh, proud to support this fun community-loved event that sets up young students for success for the upcoming school year by supplying backpacks filled with school supplies. Last year, thanks to the community donations and the hard work of West Augustine CRA Steering Community, more than 350 backpacks were distributed and filled to the brim with supplies. I love that story. So don't miss out on this pool party and cookout for a happening on uh, Sunday, July 28th from 12 to 6 p.m. at the Solomon Calhoun Community Center. We hope to see everybody out there. Yeah. 
All right, Great. cool. Yeah, I've got some backpacks I'm going to uh, to donate, so that's going to be good. I'm going to uh, contact them after shows today and see if I can uh, awesome. get them out there. Yeah, 350 cool, backpacks, that's awesome. Could yeah. you imagine there would be 350 students without a backpack? Yeah. I mean, that, this just gives them confidence and to be able to enter school. I'm excited about it. Yeah, man. Very cool. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and thank you to our friends at Magnolia Family Dentistry. They are redefining what it means to visit the dentist in St. Augustine and St. John's County. Uh, Magnolia Family Dentistry is not just about clean teeth. It is about a clean and extraordinary experience across the board. From the moment you step through their doors, you are going to be welcomed into a state-of-the-art, absolutely beautiful practice that prioritizes your comfort and your well-being. Their commitment to excellence shines through in every aspect of their care. From routine checkups to advanced procedures, Dr. Rodriguez and her dedicated team provide a warm, caring atmosphere where your health and your happiness are their top priority. Give them a call. See what all your friends and neighbors are smiling ear to ear about. 904-824-0990. And we just mentioned it. Shayla Moore. They're hey. doing that naked sushi tonight. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. Can't wait. They really specialize in doing these amazing elevated experiences yeah. that you're just not going to find anywhere else. I popped in there last night. Oh, great. Uh, they were, it, it was just so amazing um, to see uh, Janetta and AJ. Yeah. We're doing a set up there, playing some great jazz emanating through the whole place. Cool. It's been, if you haven't been in there, it's been completely redesigned mm -hmm. since it was the swinery out there. Right, right, right. It is the most elegant uh, venue I have been in. It's in really St. Augustine. special. Definitely. It really is. Man. And they have parking. They do have parking. Oh. Easy parking. I was late and there was still a spot for me to park. Really? In. Yeah. That's man. great. Awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> and uh, if you want to reserve a holiday party there, uh, I would definitely recommend jumping on a place like this. If you want to have a fancy get together, it is the place to do it. Hands down. Nowhere else to do this. Uh, they're at 45 San Marco. And if you mention 904 now, when you make those reservations, you're going to save 200 bucks on that. So that's that's a big deal. Very, very big deal. Parking is free, by the way. You yeah. mentioned the parking. And you don't have to pay for that. Oh, that's nice. Amazing. Yeah. Usually you have to pay. Yeah, right. Uh, they are a 21 and over establishment. They're open seven days a week from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. And they feature nightly entertainment at 7 o'clock. Check them out. Make your reservation. Bites, bubbles, and jazz. Com. And every guest, every time since 1987, Panache opened its doors to be a cut above the rest. Their mission at Panache is to care for their team, guests, and community from scalp to soul and bring the joy to the world one service at a time. They are proud to align with Aveda's mission of ethical and sustainable business practices and its high fashion aesthetic. They share Aveda's exceptional standards of quality products, treatments, guest care, and everything they do reflects the standards of an Aveda salon. Get posh and go to getpanache.com and get with it, boo. All right, sir. All right. We've got evil examples of non-functional slack. You know, when you open up a okay. bag of chips and there's like the chips are at the bottom and uh -huh. there's like slack in the, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So this first one, two Korean students made a raft out of potato chip bags to prove they have too much air in them. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. That's yeah, brilliant. That's I love that. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Next up, coloring book for my son. Oh, uh, I've seen these. Right? It's four crayons. It looks like a whole box of crayons. It's no crayons. That's deceiving. That yeah. is. Next up, why do you have to play with me like this? Like, seriously, they uh, thought you were like a pot of gold and there's just a couple it up in there. Plastic, yeah? yeah. Next up, biggest letdown I've ever had in a while 150 pieces. Oh, no way. Yeah, that's. Oh, that's. That's, yeah. that's, that's rude. Save your receipt. Next up, I know popcorn is mostly air, but this is redonkulous. Oh, right? wow. That's a ripoff. That is, that a, is rip a huge ripoff. <laughs> Next off, this bamboozling uh, package, right? Uh, oh, cosmetic yeah. industry. Yeah, I'm reading you right now. Yeah. They do this all the time with their packaging. <laughs> Next up, oh my God, look at this pizza. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Just enough pepperonis <laughs> to where you could see them through the package. That's, that's bad. bad. That's real bad. Yeah. Next up, this jumbo tube is only filled with. <laughs> to the letter E oh, on God. warheads, right? Wow. Yeah, that's a typical. Lot, yeah. Typical. Uh, next up, this giant Hershey kiss is hollow inside. <laughs> what? Oh, really? Really? Oh, Should that's... Should be solid. Yeah. Ugh. Next up, brand new package of razors. Oh, my goodness. Huh? Razors wow. are so expensive. Yeah, they too. are, man. Couldn't they just put two more in? Come I on. Know. Jeez. Jeez. Watch out for that slack. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you, Davey, for wrangling a good show today. Yes, sir. Thank you to Jen and thank you to Tyrell for telling his story. That was very powerful, man. We yeah. appreciate that. Thank you to the boys in the booth. We appreciate you and everybody out there watching. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll look forward to talking to you in the morning. Bye, everybody.